Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? So I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from Genesis chapter 44, verses 25 through 29. And I just prayed and opened up to this um, scripture um, and received fresh revelation before I got, um, before I pressed record. So let me get into the scripture. It says, later our father told us to come back and buy food for the family. So we reminded him we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us, can we go? For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then the servant, then your servant our father said to us as you know my wife bore me two sons one of them however disappeared and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by a wild beast I have not seen him since if you know if you now take this one away from me too and some disaster befalls him you will send my white head down to nether world of grief, to the nether world of grief. There is a father that has two sons. One has disappeared. He don't know where that son is, but he is saying he has one more son that he has available to help you. But he doesn't want anything. He doesn't want to lose this son too. He doesn't want anything to happen to this son. Because if something happened to this son, then it would cause him a lot of grief. But the father is saying he he wants to he wants to give you one of his sons because he had two. One of them disappeared. He don't know where he is. He said maybe he was torn to pieces by a wild beast. I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him. But I have one more son. If you take this one away from me too... And something happens to this one. This will hurt me. So there is somebody that the father, this is, this, this is entitled the final test. Chapter 44 is entitled the final test. 25 through 29. This is somebody who the father is saying, He wants them to come back home. He wants them to come back home to a family and nourish that family. He's saying, I lost one son but I have another one. I do not want to lose this son like I lost the last son. I don't know what happened to my last son. He just disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't seen him. This is possibly somebody that turned their back on their God, walked away from God, turned their back on their God, turned their back on God, walked away from God, and was destroyed or attacked. And this hurt the father. And he's saying he doesn't want the same thing to happen to his other son or daughter, however. So the father saying he wants somebody to come home. He wants somebody to nourish their family. He wants them to come back to home to him, nourish their family, 
and he has another son or another daughter for them, but he doesn't want the same thing to happen to his last son or daughter that happened to the one before them. Because this would hurt him. If then the boy is not with us, when I go back to my servant, my father, whose very life is bound up with his, he will die as soon as he sees that the boy is missing. And your servants will thus send the white head of our father down to nether of grief. Besides, I, your servant, got the boy from his father by going surety for him, saying, if I fail to bring him back to you, Father, you can do it against, you can hold it for, against me forever. Let me, your servant, therefore remain in place of the boy as a, uh, as the slave of my word and let the boy go back with his brothers. How could I go back to my father if the boy were not with me. I could not bear to see the anguish that would overcome my father. There is somebody who wants to save you. They want to save you They want to bring you back home and to be a part of the family so they can nourish nourish you. But it's like, how can, they're trying to figure out how they can do this without hurting you. Or how can they do this without hurting you? How can they nourish you? How can they protect you? How can they bring you back home without hurting you? But the father wants you back home. And they want to bring you back home. But they just don't see how they can do it. But they want to bring you back home to the Father. They do. So... This is somebody's final test. The father wants them to bring you back home. He does not want them to return home without you. He wants them to bring you back home and he wants them to nourish you. And they want to. They don't want the same thing that happened in the past to happen now in the future and neither does the father because he said that would hurt him too much it would hurt the father too much and it would hurt this person too much if this if what happened before was to happen or if what if if you if it would hurt the father if you were, if they, if this person was not to ter- return home to you. Bam, there I said it. It would hurt the father and grieve the father if this person was not to return home with you. That's what the father wants. And this person wants to return home with you. they like, how could I go back to the father if you're not with me? 
I could not bear to see the anguish that would come from my father if I returned to him and I did not have you with me. So somebody may be feeling a little apprehensive about returning to the father because they don't have you with them. And the father sent them to get you or the, or the last time the father saw y'all, y'all were together. So how is it that you are now returning without my son or without my daughter? When the last time I saw you, y'all were together. Okay, so this is something that the father wants. This is somebody's, this is entitled The Final Test, Genesis chapter 25 through 29. And I also read verses 30 through 34. And this is somebody's final test. The father wants them to return home with you, 1111, because they left with you and they need to return with you. And this person is feeling apprehensive about returning to their father without you because they father, the father knows that y'all were together. He knows what he told you to do. So why are you coming back without said person? What's going on? Okay, that could cause the father's heart to be in grief his head to be in grief. Sad, okay? This can make the father sad. That's the message, y'all. Peace.